welcome back to another video from the Minecraft Create Mod with me, I am Tyralaw and I am very happy to see you again. So today I thought we'd take a little look at farming milk. And there are two reasons why you might want to be farming milk in your world. Number one being it allows you to make chocolate in all of its different forms. So we've got chocolate covered berries, chocolate bars and liquid chocolate which you need to make a scoria farm. And it also allows you to make builder's tea, a delightful little drink in the game that gives you a haste effect. To that end then, the little farm we're going to be creating is this one just over here that you can see. It is designed to give as little a footprint as we can possibly manage, so it is very much a vertical farm, this one, with just a pen out front for you to put your cows in. I personally don't like seeing cows just in a one-by-one -one hole. I like them to be able to walk around because I'm sad like that. But if you're not the sad type, then you can, of course, fence the cows in ever closer to the deployer. That will increase the number of times it interacts with them and the amount of milk that you receive at the end of the day. For now, though, let's just take a little look at what we're going to need to make our farm. And the ingredients for it aren't too bad. We are using a little bit of brass, as you can see. So you will need to have gone to the nether and got yourself a blaze burner to create that. And we have got some copper as well. How many fluid tanks you need depends entirely on how much milk you want to be storing. And the first thing you'll notice about this farm, though, is that the fence is all the way up there because this portion is actually underground. This is a fully automatic farm. You shouldn't need to interact with any of this once you've got it up and running. And how this farm works is the deployer is going to poke cows with an empty bucket, which is going to milk them. That is then going to fall through the smart chute, which is only allowing milk buckets through. The milk then drains into the item drain. It is pumped down around the copper piping and it is stored in the container. The bucket then comes out the back. It is sucked up through that andesite funnel and it will travel up back into this chest, which is then going to refeed the deployer. And the first thing you're going to want to do when deciding where to build your farm is decide where you want your fluid drain to be. And here we come across one of the strange little quirks of the Minecraft Create mod. If I just come over to this little contraption here that you can see, I have set up a chest which is going to be able to drop a bucket onto this fluid drain. That is then going to go down into the container below. So if I go back up to my chest and I pop a bucket in there, it falls down, it drains, it shoots off to the north and the milk then goes down here into this container. And that's the strange thing about it. Why does it always shoot off to the north? I haven't been able to do anything with this drain in order to make it go off in a different direction. If I try using a wrench, for example, well, maybe that would turn it around, but nope. If I pop a bucket in there, it goes down, it drains, and off it goes to the north. And so the question then becomes, do any of you know how I can stop this from happening? Because I am clueless. I have looked around the wiki so many times now, and I can't see anything to say away to make it drain in a different direction. I want the buckets to come off to the west, for example. How do I make that happen? Anyway, you might know, you might not. I just thought I'd ask. But what this ultimately means then, though, is that when you place down your drain, you need to make sure you are facing in a northerly direction, because we want the buckets to go onto the belt that you can see moving in the background. Other than that, though, it's entirely up to you where you place it. And just in case you're not too sure how, you find out which way you're facing by pressing your F3 button. That will bring up this screen, and then you can see that it says we are currently facing north when we're pointing in this direction. Or we can go west, we can go east, we can go south. Just make sure you're facing in a northerly direction. And you don't need to be in creative mode to do this. It's exactly the same for survival. With that weird little detail out of the way, though, let's get on with making our farm. And the first thing you're going to want to do is pill yourself up by three blocks. So one, two and three. Place down your item drain. Then you can come back underneath it. We will remove those blocks from underneath that. Place a fluid pipe coming out the base, followed by a mechanical pump which is probably going to be facing the wrong direction, so you'll want to use a wrench just to flip that one around so that it is pointing down rather than up. Just make sure that this little arrow is pointing towards the ground. From there then, we can place another pipe underneath it, and for now, we're just gonna come off to the right by two, just like so, as you can see. From there, we can then place a little cogwheel next to that so that it attaches to our mechanical pump, and another little cogwheel just off to the other side as well. From there, we're just going to come and hop up onto this pipe and then up onto our cogwheel as well. And we're going to place down a encased fan right on top of it so that it is pointing directly upwards, as you see. And then we're going to go up by five shoots. So one, two, three, four and five. And what this is going to do is when this little cog is turning, it is going to make the fan blow straight upwards through these shoots. And that allows us to move items upwards. 
what you can actually do is you can take your wrench and then if you just right click on each of these chutes you can put a little glass pane in them that way you'll be able to see your buckets when they're moving back up to the top chest from here then we can come up on top of our drain and we're going to place down a block just to make life a little bit easier and then into the top of that we're going to place a smart chute and come off the front of it just to one side a little bit so that you can place down your deployer best way to do that is to come onto your block back away as far as you can stand up and then place down the deployer so that it should be facing straight towards you and then you'll have on this side a little shaft input that you can see there where we can power it from from there then we can come up on top of our deployer and not facing into the filter make sure you're slightly off to one side if you jump and place down another chute you'll be able to have two side by side and then on top of these ones we're just going to place down a little double chest just like so just so that we've got somewhere we can input our buckets from here then we can remove these three blocks that we placed just to make our own lives a little bit easier and we can come down to the little cog that we can see down the bottom here so what we're going to do is we're just going to hop up on top of here we will place a shaft then we're going to place a vertical gearbox so that we are facing towards the back and this means we will now have shafts pointing front and back like so little inputs from there we can then place down another shaft and another one and then we're going to place a vertical gearbox facing into the deployer so that that one can get powered just like so and then we're going to have another couple of shafts just to bring us up in line with our chest from here we can then drop down and we're going to go around the back of our contraption and i'll just pillar up a little bit so i can see what i am doing because we're going to place a shaft going into this little vertical gearbox you can see here and we're then going to place one going into the chute as well and we're going to run a mechanical belt between them that's where our buckets are going to pop off onto our belt once they've done draining their milk because of course that is north so this is the direction they're going to go in but then we just need to place an andesite funnel going into here so that the buckets can travel up so we'll just pop a little andesite funnel on make sure you are crouching when you do so that you can see this arrow that's there that is pointing into the chute so you know which direction the items are going okay so from here what we need to do is we'll just come back around the front again because that is most of the mechanical side of this farm setup what we need to do though is we need to get everything powered and we're going to do that just using a little windmill and to do that we're just going to place a small cogwheel on the top of our shaft and then we'll have a large cogwheel coming off from the back of it then we can place another shaft on top of that one followed by a small cog and then going back in the same direction another large cog Ooh, there we go and then on top of this we can place our windmill bearing remembering that the reason why we've done this is because when we go from a large cogwheel to a small one we are speeding up each time so it just means the farm will run that little bit quicker but we'll place down our sails as well so i'm going to need some form of block to go in the middle you will do and this farm at the moment i am running it with 24 sails off it it does run with 16 but it runs a little bit slower so i'll just stick with 24 it's a bit easier okay so that is all of the mechanical bits and pieces of the farm all set up now what we need to do is have somewhere for our milk to actually be stored so for the sake of the schematic i have kept our milk tub right next to the farm as you can see but one mechanical pump can pump any fluid along 16 pipes so it's pretty much up to you where you store the milk for now though we will just set it up like this so what we'll do is we'll just come off our little pipe and we're going to go up until we are in line with the smart chute and the reason why we're in line with this one is because that is ground level from here then we can just add a little two by two tank just so that we've got somewhere where we can store the milk and have another one why not and from here one of the last things we need to do at least is we need to place a milk bucket just in this little filter that you can see there so if you just right click on it with a milk bucket it'll appear in the slot and that means that when this deployer is deploying buckets it's not just going to send them straight through until they have actually been filled with milk and there we go so there's all of our cows installed in our little tiny patch of grass for them all we need now is to add in some buckets and to set everything off so that we can see it in action so the first thing we'll do is we'll just Put this windmill on so that everything is going we can see that our deployer is there giving that cow a jolly good prod apparently and if we come down the bottom we should see that our fan is working and it's got little tiny air particles in there moving upwards so we know that that is going to blow our items straight up from here then we can come to this chest up at the top 
and we can input our buckets. There we go, that was the sound of one cow being milked. We can see that it has drained, the bucket has gone straight into there, and then the milk has been going through our little pipes down the bottom that has been drained through and is going to start filling up in here. Oh, yep, there it is, there's the milk arriving. And there you have it though, that is our little milk farm completed. You'll be surprised just how quickly that container fills up, especially when you've got cows in close proximity to that deployer, but at least it means you're now going to have plenty of milk for making all of the chocolate and tea you could possibly desire. And I'll also pop the schematic for this little farm into the Discord server so that anybody can use it if they want to. It does include all of the fences, those are there just to help you know exactly where ground level is. Obviously, move things around to your heart's content. And if anybody's interested, by the way, I'll pop the little milking parlor in there as well. Let me know if you want to down in the comments, and then I'll just stick this one in too. I'm not too sure if anybody's actually interested in pre-designs. It's something that's, I suppose, it's a bit personal to your world. Anywho, though, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial for a milk farm. Happy Minecrafting, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye!